So here we are in Studio 2017. Just let me set the scene a little bit. If I click on my translation memories view, I have one translation memory in this view. If I click on the settings for it, and I come down to fragment alignment at the bottom here, which is a new feature as part of Uplift, what I can see is that first of all, um, fragment matching is not turned on. The translation model has never been built, and so there's no units been added since any time. And for alignment, there's no um, aligned translation units either. This is a TM that I had available already. It's got something in the region of, in fact, I can tell you exactly how many it's got. It's got 50,048 TUs in it. So it hasn't been aligned. And what that means, I have a little test project here. And if I just open them up for translation and I look at that, you'll see that as I scroll down through the TM, I just want to show you how this looks before I do this exercise, is I'll get some concordance matching some more concordance, and I do actually get some, some matching from the fragment match window, but actually this is what's called a whole TU. So somewhere in that TM, there is a whole TU that matches um, those, those words. And so it's found that and brought that up and made it available, available for me to use. Um, and I can tell it's a whole TU because as it was described in Emma's article, it doesn't have the dotted lines around there. It's got a solid line through there but I'm not getting any fragment matching. All I'm getting is some more whole TUs. All I'm getting is whole TUs that just happen to be in that TM. There's no fragment matching being found here, which are fragments of a TM. So that's what I want to try and enable by doing quite a lot of these actually. So, so um, this is what I want to try and enable by running the re-index TM application. So just to make it a little bit more interesting, I'll show you what I've done. On this window on the right-hand side here, this is the little project that I just opened that I set up. Is um, I opened these two files, I created a project with them, and I added this TM that's here. And in my TM window, that's what this is pointing to. And then over here, I have another five TMs. They're actually the same, been taken from the same source, um, but different languages. So instead of just English to Romanian, I've got English to Danish, English to Spanish, English to Finnish, English to Dutch, and French to Romanian. Um, they all contain about the same, about 50,000 TUs. So I'm going to use those as the exercise. So I've got six TMs altogether that I'm going to be upgrading. So let's move back over to Studio. So what we see in here is I've got a browse button that allows me to select a folder and add all my TMs that way. I can tick this little box down here and what this will do, when I tick that, if you notice up here at the top, I've now got a translation memory in there. When I untick it, it disappears. What that's basically doing is it's having a look at whatever TMs you have in this list here, and it's adding them automatically. So if you just happen to keep all your TMs in one place, you can add them very quickly just by clicking that button. Um, you need to then decide whether you're going to re-index or use uplift. In this case, I'm going to do just the uplift. Um, and then you would just click on process. But what I want to do is just to show you how we can do multiple TMs, I'm gonna just click on the browse button and in my multifarious folder here, I've added another five. So I've got 10 TMs there and each one of those has got somewhere in the region of, I don't know, 60, 70,000 TUs, I think. Um, let's just have a quick check, shall we? So they're all around about the same sort of size as of this one, but in different languages, 50,000 TUs. So it's not, it's not a huge TM, but it's not insignificant either. So I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna click on process and that will kick it off and it will start going through the process. Now it tries to use what memory you've got available to tackle them all at the same time. So this automatically is gonna save you a lot of time and it will go through that process. It is gonna take some time to do this. So I'm gonna cut um, back to this in a minute. Uh, but first of all, I just wanted to show you that while that's running, I can actually then go to other um, to other projects in studio and I can open them up. How well they perform is definitely going to be dependent on the performance of your computer. So while I've got this re-index TMs working, which is pretty intensive, um, I'm not gonna open this one at the moment because it's using a TM that I'm actually trying to re-index, um, but I could open a file up. Maybe let's just try a different one while that's ticking along. So if I open up, um, I'll just open up the sample project. So I'll double click that one. Open up the sample photo printer. So 
so really pretty pretty slow if you have a lot going on so probably the best thing to do with this is leave it running overnight if you've got a lot of TMs to work on so that when you come back in the morning it's all done so I'm going to leave that going for a while now there's no indicator telling me what the um, progress is like on this that's really because we did it we tried to keep it as slim as possible and we did it fairly quickly for the re-index TMs initially and we never added lots of niceties um, like performance indicators we might come back and do that in the future because this takes a lot longer than the re-index process and even that could take a while um, so this to do one of these took me 10 minutes um, when I was testing it earlier today now that I'm doing six and they're working together it'll be interesting to see if that takes an hour or how much less than an hour it takes but we'll come back to that later So that whole process has taken 32 minutes, 57.57 seconds, which is pretty quick. If I'd done the TMs individually using the re-index index TM um, application, it would have taken me about 10 minutes each one. So doing them sequentially would have taken me over an hour. And if I'd had to do it manually, where I ran the processes one at a time, I'd have to remember to click the buttons, I'd have to be here watching it and I wouldn't be able to do anything else in studio and it would have taken me at least the best part of a day I reckon um, in order to get that done and if they were bigger it would have been even worse so that's quite a good saving 50% at least 50% of the time I think I could say and if I go over to translation memories and we just take a quick look and see what that has actually done when I look at here now so I've got my fragment alignment status is on there's been no units added since then, and there's currently no need to build a translation model and no unaligned units because they're all aligned. And I'm ready to go. And what that should do, if I go and take, well, I've had it before I show you what it should do. Just let me go back and show you what's happened in here. So I had five TMs in here originally, and I had one over here, which is in the little project that I've created. And what it's done is it's renamed the original with underscore original at the end and kept the same name so that it's available in the projects I've already got set up and I haven't got to change the TMs but you can see the increase in size so that has gone from 78 meg to 334 meg which is quite a substantial increase and that's really because the TM itself is now holding all of these aligned fragments so there's quite a bit more information for us to be able to draw on there so we're really leveraging the power of a translation memory and the same thing has happened on these five so the, uh, with these five here, they've also been renamed exactly the same way and we'll, and we'll um, we're one big, one small. Um, so that's worked pretty well. And if we go and take a look and see how that looks inside the project, if I go back to my projects and look for my re-index test, which is this one. And if I just open up a couple of files, which have that same TM in there. Previously, I was only getting whole TU matches. You can see already now what I'm automatically getting. There was no match on the first segment. So it's finding a, a concordance search and it's also showing me the fragment matches that it's found. And these are fragment matches. You can tell this by the little dotted line around the top. So that seems to have worked pretty well. And if I go down through the different segments, we'll see that everywhere I'm either getting a concordance and a fragment match or just a fragment match or I'm getting a 100% match. Oh no, that's another concordance match. That's 100% concordance. I'm getting a fuzzy match, no fuzzy concordance and fragment matching. So actually this TM is actually no good for, to me whatsoever in terms of being able to give me fuzzy match, whole segment fuzzy matches or 100% of context matches. All I'm getting out of it is, um, until then, all I was getting out of it was concordance searches um, and the fragment matching. So I'm getting stuff that I would not normally be able to see. Here I'm getting a, a repaired fuzzy match and this is coming, I guess, from um, here. It's taken out the word. So what it's actually tried to do is it's taken this one and tried to correct or tried to repair this particular fuzzy match. I don't speak Romanian, so I don't know how good that is. Perhaps somebody can post something into the comment and tell me whether it's a good repair or not. But previously it was a 70% match. Now it's a repaired fuzzy match because it's found the tasks of in the fragment match down here and has had a go at inserting this in there. So my guess is that 
and um, probably if I just was to shift F3 on that, oh sorry, they're down here, not on that, <laughs> what am I doing? If I just shift F3 on that, potentially that would be the um, correct translation. So it gives you some idea of the power of the um, repair capability of the, with repair fuzzy match as a result of fragment matching through uplift. Okay, that's enough on that. That's how the whole process works. And um, I hope that is going to be useful for you.